How's it going everyone? Merry Christmas. Uh, it's kind of a late video. I'm sorry I've been gone for the last week. Uh, I had a lot of family stuff going on. So I'm back. I just hit infinite a few minutes ago. I actually will put the video at the end of this one of the game. I didn't set up the lights or anything. I don't even think the game's audio is going, but I recorded myself hitting it. Finally, I'm so happy I finally did. Um, but today we are playing a ramp deck and this is the deck that I use actually to hit infinite. I leveled from about rank 90 all the way to infinite with it and it's a fun deck. So it's a ramp deck. It does play leader for those of you leader haters out there. I hate them, but I was facing too much of them. So I figured if you can't beat them, join them. Also got my little Yeti to party ugly sweater. So as usual, before we get started, if you love all things Marvel Snap and you love video games, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell. Still a small channel trying to grow. I'd appreciate it. Let's get to the deck list. Okay, so the idea of this deck is to get Electro out on turn three. Now, for those of you who don't know, Electro is a three cost, two power, on reveal, plus one max energy. And then ongoing, you can only play one card a turn. You're not too worried about that. The only thing that it really messes up with is if on turn five you play Wave, then you can't play She-Hulk and Leader on the same turn or She-Hulk and another six drop on the same turn. But I found that there's so many leader decks out there that I was too afraid to drop She-Hulk and another six drop on turn six. So I found myself dropping She-Hulk well before then. If I didn't have Electro, I'd skip turn three and drop her on four. But the main curve of this deck, the idea is to play Sunspot on turn one, followed up with Ebony Maw on turn two. I normally play it on the same location that I played Sunspot. And then turn three, if you have a good set of six drops and a five drop, you can drop the next turn. Then I snap and play Electro. Once Electro is played, then you can either play Captain Marvel or Arrow on turn four, and then a six drop turn five and a six drop on turn six. If that doesn't work, I've played Wave on turn three a lot, drop a six drop on turn four, when I first started playing the deck, I would drop a five drop on turn four and then realize I have nothing to do on turn five. So make sure when you play wave, you drop a six drop on turn four. A lot of the times, depending on the deck that I'm playing against, I'll drop leader on turn four. So then I can follow it up with Odin on turn six and get another proc out of the leader. And then of course you have all your synergies with Odin with, you can proc leader again. I have won games where I played arrow and then Odin on top of arrow to just keep them stacking one location. Same thing with Magneto is just a big 12 drop that has a little bit of control to him and then Odin on Dr. Doom, of course. So it's a fun deck to play. Um, I think most of the six drops are interchangeable. I think the only real uh, requirements are leader. Uh, you can go without She-Hulk if you don't have her. I know she's a little difficult to get at the moment. Um, you may be able to swap in maybe Doc Ock, just run another five drop in there. If you're facing a lot of leaders, Doc Ock's actually pretty good. You can you can pull them out beforehand. And that's really the deck. There's no, no special way of playing it. You just try to get Electro out um, or use Wave and just drop as many big cards as you can, hope to win the game. It worked out for me. I climbed a lot of ladder with it. I won a lot of big cube games, so it was really swingy. There were times where I would lose three ranks and then gain five ranks. And so be prepared for that if you choose to play it that way. I did because I actually originally got to rank 98.9 or 99 with the Silver Surfer deck that I just posted with. And then I started losing and I got on tilt and I tanked all the way to 90. And I decided I'm gonna forget trying to hit infinite. Just gonna try to have fun, found this deck tried to have fun and I was just snapping left and right and it worked out for me. So I found that a lot of snapping before you play Electro worked out really well. Sometimes you can get away with snapping after you play Electro, but I found a lot of times people will retreat or if they do stay in, they have a kind of a made hand ready to go. So, so it's a little sketchy snapping after Electro, but see what works for you. Let me know in the comments if it's working out. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll show you guys some gameplay right now and uh, I'll wrap it up at the end. So we have Sunspot turn one, that's perfect. We'll just drop on Mirror Dimension, it works out pretty good. Wind Jet. <clears throat> uh, no turn two play. Looks like we're gonna end up playing Maximus. It's not ideal, but it's fine. I don't think we want a Maximus right. I think we're gonna look to arrow right. Uh, we could also, we don't really have a turn four play, so I think maybe we skip turn three, we can drop She-Hulk turn four, uh, arrow, and then Doctor Doom. It's kind of a rough start, but we have some options now. Okay, I do like that we have wave. I think wave turn five into 
she hulk leader might work i don't know that's it's kind of tough because our board is pretty weak right now so we'll go she hulk right next turn we'll arrow or captain marvel and then look to leader all right moon girl is interesting i think if we can arrow if we arrow mid we can force the dino to come down mid assuming it's a dino and then we can we're winning both left and right so then we can drop leader and copy whatever he plays we have full hand so if it is dino it'll be pretty effective still we also have priority i don't think we'll have priority next turn i don't think that matters too much if it is dino or something It's a dino. So, yeah, I think we just lead her mid. Uh, it's a pretty good spot. Not a whole lot beats us. I assume he's going to retreat here. Come on, man. Here we go. Dino, lizard. All right. Easy win. That kind of shows you uh, kind of the main curve of the deck and even if you're losing and you don't get a lot of drops early in the game just having multiple six drops uh is pretty big i mean being able to drop she hulk for pretty cheap leader and arrows obviously uh pretty overpowered at the moment i think they should bring her power down a little bit um but this is kind of how the deck plays a lot of times you're going to get more to play earlier but this is kind of what you're aiming for All right, so turn one sunspot. We have our turn one and two going. Um, I don't know if we sunspot left. Maybe, yeah. Honestly, probably shouldn't. I just didn't want to take the gamble of playing him right. So I guess the question is, do we play Ebony Maw? I think we're going to, I don't want to play them on mines because I want to draw some of my better, better six drops, maybe get electro next draw. And I can't play him left because I need to be able to play cards on turn five. So I should have played sunspot right and then followed it up with Ebony Maw, but here we are. That's honestly pretty lucky. All right. So. I like wave here. Wave into Odin may not be the worst. It's, it's not the best, but it may not be the worst. We'll see what, what kind of deck he's playing before we make that decision. All right, Wind Storm. So I think we're just looking to play Magneto mid. If he plays... He plays Juggernaut. <clears throat> I think we Magneto mid. If he plays Juggernaut and he kicks it right, then we're okay. If he kicks it left, um, kind of puts us in a tough spot because we'd like to Odin on top of the Magneto and pull the Juggernaut away here. But we don't really have an option. If it, it kicks it right, we can't Odin on top of him anyway. And then if it's not Juggernaut, then we're more than okay. But I think we have to. We don't really have uh, much other choice. The other option, I guess, is to play She-Hulk here. No, then we don't have a... a hmm. That's just Magneto. If it's a Juggernaut, it's a Juggernaut. Yeah. All right, it went right. Uh, if we can get leader, uh, Captain Marvel's pretty good. Okay. 
Captain Marvel mid be able to push to mid or left will be able to push to mid we're worried about silver surfer here that beats us both left and mid oh and he's gone guess he didn't have it all right turn one i don't like dropping ebony maw right away like seeing if I can get Sunspot on turn two. Uh, so we'll see. There's Sunspot. I think I'm gonna go Sunspot Mom mid. Uh, maybe try to drop Wave mid also. Try to get some power down. I assume this is probably armor. <clears throat> All right, I think we go Electro mid. Let's see. We're looking to Dr. Doom probably. If we pull an Odin, we want to leave two slots middle. So I think we go Electro right. Oh, it is an Ebony. Oh, I'll buy Electro. I have an Emos better though winter variant I think the the winter variants are pretty cool okay so we can drop doom now or we can look to arrow I like doom now maybe Arrow gives us a little more control later. All right. Maybe we go arrow left. Try to get some power over here to start winning. Yeah, I like that. like an Odin, a leader is kind of a... Leader's tough here. If we play leader and he plays more than one card mid, then we're in an interesting spot. But I think we're up by enough that we're okay. Uh, he's also a little incentivized to uh, not spend some mana. He has seven mana, so he will save one if he drops a six drop um, and then it'll make us lose left so I think the play is still leader left in order to leave room for oh he has electro he can't play two cards so I guess the play is leader right we give up left try to win here I'm gonna assume he's retreating right when they hit end turn but Playing probably a similar deck. Scorpion. Sure. Can we get a three drop? A three drop. It's fine. She Hulk's going to be coming down. <sighs> yeah, I think they got a beat here. We'll drop She-Hulk. Leech. Not sure if there's anything we can really do here. Oh man. 
Oh man, come on. Come on. Is that it? Did I finally do it? Let's go! Ah, Jesus. Finally. It was so stressful. I hate climbing ladder. I'm not gonna try to get infinite again. This is what you guys get. Proof I can get to infinite. I don't care anymore. I'm not doing it again. I got the title. I'm just gonna have fun with this game now. Ugh. I don't think you guys understand like how my heart's been racing for the last half hour. Those, ugh, thank God. Anyways, I'm glad I recorded that. I just decided to turn the camera on for that last game and here we are. So, and that's over the gameplay. Uh, I tried to include some games where um, I had Electro and when I didn't, and then there's the game of course where I hit infinite. Hope you guys like that footage. I was so stoked when I got it. So try the deck out. Let me know in the comments if it works for you. I'm gonna keep playing this deck for now until I find one that seems more fun. So as usual, if you love all things Marvel Snap and you love video games, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you in the next one.